Four Saints. I had to get on here because Tony's not going to say nothing. And I, the last time somebody said something about me, everybody was like, don't defend yourself, but today is the day. It is D-Day. So we're going to finally talk about it, so let's talk about it. So this video today was leaked from my dressing room, which usually I have no one in my dressing room before a show when it's time to pray. It's just, you know, my immediate staff, right? So when Krishan walked in, the reason why my face looked like what is because like who, first of all who is it and why wasn't nobody stopped at the door two tony and Krishan did not know who each other was all right so tony was like well who is this person coming in between me and my sister me and tony both when it's time to pray we in our dressing room don't nobody come and interrupt Period. That's just something that we do. That's actually something that I learned from her. Okay. So first of all, my sister has lupus, an autoimmune disorder. Okay. If I get sick, if you get sick, it's no big deal. If she gets sick, she go to the hospital. So what she not finna do is touch a stranger's hand, embrace a stranger. She don't know Krishan from, from Adam. Okay. And so when she walked in, it kind of startled everybody. So let's just address that there. Okay. You see that? Uh, and at the end, Tony patted her on the shoulder. Okay, and, huh? and actually, that was the first time that Thank I met Tony. She walked through that door. Yeah, oh, that's why I turned around. Lord, and Lord, and Lord, Lord. We actually have so much fun tonight, Lord God, oh. and bring us back Prayer. safe. It changes home. things. To our family. Amen. In Jesus name, so Amen. let's move on to the next subject. Mm -hmm. Yup, God is good. Yup, only do it. He's able. So this is the picture in the middle of my show. When they was introduced each other, in, introduced to each other, we started talking about Baltimore. We started talking about you know coming from a whole bunch of siblings, and we, everything was all fine and dandy. Let me tell you something: Tony Braxton don't stay for nobody's concert. She don't stay backstage. She sings and she leaves. Not even hers. She stayed most of the time. We had a blast. It was cool. That's Billy Billy Woodruff over here beside Tony. That's Tony's best friend. Mm -hmm. Everything was great. Everybody was happy. No beef. No drama. Okay. Now let's move on to the next slide because today is D Day. Since people want to sell videos, people want to, you know, just put everybody on blast and, and have people come up with their own stories. Today is the day of the real story. So let's move on. Okay. Yeah. This right here oh, is my Master James. Oh, James. Get busted in the face. No, I don't want to bow back. Okay. Yeah, that is know. killing my dressing room. Uh, Turn that down. Yeah. So, so do you want to? Are you gonna press charges or you just? Yes. Uh -uh. I got some charges. I didn't do nothing to that girl. Oh. You can't leave until the police. Oh. Is that the hit that we made up? Huh? Now see, now James is my best friend, and I would never ever do. Look at my baby lips. Yeah, I would never ever do him like that. Uh, but at this uh, point. It has gotten above and beyond out of control, okay? Nobody is lying on nobody. Nobody wants no trouble for nothing. That's what the legendary Tony Braxton, okay? Nobody needed the clown, okay? Hello, nobody's trying to get on Zeus. Lamelle is a good friend of mine. If I wanted to show, I would have one. Yeah, your nose. If we wanted to show, Tony wanted to show. Your tooth is short. Cheers. So, so do you want to... Okay, so what I'm saying is, if y'all will read, this happened today from, his name is Keon Pierre, I don't even know the man. He said, this footage that was leaked from Tamar's dress room to TMZ TV was captured by me. The only people who have possession of it, other than myself, and boop, the bitter one, and Somebody named Rodney Jr. I don't even know him. These two bozos are in cahoots with each other because they are friends. Do not use my footage to stir the pot of drama, especially if you distort the quality. He's talking about his quality, okay, child? I know that's right. Everybody fighting for their rights today, okay? He said, don't use my footage to stir the pot of drama, okay? Especially if you distort the quality. I know that's right. Everybody worrying about their body of work. Me too. That's why I'm here. <sighs> 
Okay, Tamar Brack said, I am deeply sorry that this footage got out and I would never do anything to tarnish you or your family's brand and name. Yes, because the truth of the matter is me and my sister meant no ill will towards nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our torn business. We take it very seriously. And the truth of the matter is, James, I'm so sorry. I love you with all my heart and soul, but your friend sold you up a river for $5,000. Dollars. Yep. Somebody said he sold the video to TMZ. The man here, Keon, said y'all sold that video. Not me. Keon said y'all sold that video to somebody named Charlie for five thousand dollars. Now, I just want to give y'all a little story time. Y'all want a little another story? Isn't this amazing? This is um Travis, and he has a bit of information that he'd like to share. Travis, will you step up to the podium and give the people of God the information that you know? So what actually led up to Krishan being angry that night before she attacked James was the fact when she got there, she had 10 people there, but she originally only told us that it was supposed to be six people with her. So LaTroy Davis, and you know I'm not lying because I was standing right there while you was talking to her and her team, you told the, the venue staff that only six people can be backstage and the rest has to go to the audience. So after she picked the six people, she was also told that she was the only one that can be on the left side of the stage by herself. After that situation happened, she ended up coming up to me and said, hey, fam, I'm not trying to cause any issues, but can I at least have one person on there? And I asked her, who did she want? And she said, her manager with the dreads. So I've got one of the venue staff members, and the venue staff member brought her manager to the back. So after that, she was calm a little bit, and then she ended up coming up to me again, and she said, hey, fam, when am I performing? What time am I performing? When time am I going Because remember on? I had said that I had wanted her to come out to do a survive all the time doing the twerk off part? That's what you was talking about. Go ahead. Now read on. So I told her, I said, I didn't know anything about that, but let me go to the person who's in charge, which is LaTroy Davis while we were on tour. At the time, he was in charge. So it's his tour. <laughs> so I went up to LaTroy, and I said, hey, Chris. Krishan said, when is she performing? He asked me, what are you talking about? I said, Krishan told me that Tamar Braxton told her that she can perform doing one of the halftime um, things. He was like, well, she's not getting on my stage. She's not getting on my stage. And I was like, what, what do you want me to tell her? He was like, but she's not getting on my stage. And he walked off. And that was that. So that's the story. Please leave me out of the chat. <laughs>